This is the typical calculus one question. Let's have a look. Which of the following interval must contain a solution to this equation? And notice that this is a cubic equation, so it's not easy to solve. But it's okay, because we just have to find out um, which of this interval has an answer for this. So in fact, we don't have to solve this from scratch. But how can we answer this question though? Well, this is the time that we can utilize the intermediate value theorem. And let me show you guys how we can write out the solution for this. First off, we see that this is equal to zero already, so we can define this to be our function. I'm just going to be writing that down as let f of x be x to the third power minus 3x minus 6. And this right here is a polynomial, so it is continuous. So just keep that in mind, and later on, when we want to write down the conclusion, we will have to mention that. And let's take a look right here. Well, let's go ahead and just make our pick. Let's say we want to choose C first, all right? And you see, this is saying that the answer must be in between of 1 and 2, and let's see if it works or not. And to do so, well, I'm just going to put 1 into the function here and see what happens. And by the way, the reason that I did not include the equal sign here for the interval is because we are going to test out the endpoints. And you will see at the endpoints, the function is not equal to zero. So that's why we don't have the equal sign. But anyway, have a look. Put one into the function. We are looking at f of one, and that will give us one to the third power minus three times one, and then minus six. This is one minus three, and then minus six is equal to negative eight. Keep this in mind, this is negative. Next, we test out this number, which is two. So f of two, this is equal to two to the third power, minus three times two, and then minus six. This is eight, minus six is two, two minus six is negative four. Okay, again, negative. If this is the case, we see that the value of the function at the endpoints are both negative. We cannot draw any conclusion because even though it could has it could have an answer, but it could be in between of one and two, but we cannot guarantee. So the key for doing this is that we want to test out the value at the endpoints. Right? That's what, like, what we did. And we are looking for we get one positive number and then the other one being negative. But because these are both negative, so this right here it's not the answer. So what do we do next? Well, we can choose B or we can choose D. And let me just go with D because I know the answer, of course. So I just have to go ahead and check when X is equal to three. F of three is equal to three to the third power minus three times three and then minus six. This is 27 minus nine, which is 18 and then minus six is 12. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is positive. So as you can see, when x is 2, we have negative. When x is 3, we have positive. So that means the function must be equal to 0 somewhere in the middle, right? And this is how you can write down the conclusion. I'm just going to say something like, notice f of 2 is negative and f of 3 is positive and well, I shouldn't put an N and N like so many times. I'm, I'm just going to write it down like this. F of 2 is negative, comma, F of 3 is positive, comma, and here's the one more thing I have to mention. The function F is just, just a cubic polynomial. F is continuous. In order for us to utilize the intermediate value theorem, we must have this part. F is continuous everywhere, uh, you can say everywhere, but I think F is continuous implies F is continuous everywhere, so that's good. And we can just say, so by the inter intermediate value theorem, like IVT, we must have, let me just say, we must have a solution f of x is equal to zero on the interval. We must have a solution to the equation f of x is equal to zero 
on the interval, well, I use the inequality, so I'll just say for the x values in between of 2 and 3. So I'll just say like this, all right? So that would be like the right out. But of course, this is just a multiple choice question. The moment that you see we get negative on one endpoint and the other value is positive, then you can just go ahead and say the answer is D.